Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we will continue our previous topic, primary processing of poultry from the evisceration and giblet handling step. Evisceration is basically stage when pluck bird is rehung either manually or automatically onto the evisceration line. Then they pass through number of automatic carousel machines which will perform the operations necessary to eviscerate the bird and after eviscerate a clean bird carcass is presented to the chilling process in sequence these operations are venting and opening to open up the bird for eviscerate eviscerate itself during which a viscera pack and all edible and inedible offals are removed neck flap cleaning to ensure that the trachea and esophagus have been removed from the neck skin automatic neck removal and the removal by a vacuum of any loose debris still remaining in the carcass once all these operations have been completed the carcass is given through a washing line given a washing from both inside and outside part until some 10 years ago a visceration machine drew out the viscera pack and laid it over to the back of the bird from where all edible giblets are harvested this process can still be seen in many smaller plants but new uh, new technologies of a visceration are slightly different where systems where new evisceration systems are launched they drew out the viscera pack and then transfer it automatically to an entirely separate giblet harvesting process the new system saved the labor and improved the hygiene in the viscera pack no longer came in contact with the back of the bird thus reducing the contamination with the gut contents they also made veterinary inspection of both bird and viscera pack easier giblet harvesting and transportation stage in many markets edible giblets such as heart liver and gizzards remain valuable whether for sale for human consumption or for manufacturing of the pet food it is therefore important that as many giblets as possible are harvested in some cases the neck is placed with the giblets modern evisceration system separate the viscera pack completely from the birds and either deposited into a synchronized pan conveyor for semi or fully automatic giblet harvesting or transfer it to a synchronized overhead conveyor system where individual machines cut off the intestine and gallbladder harvest the liver deposit the gizzards into a gizzard processing system and drop the heart and lungs into a heart and lung separating machine advantages of the new process are substantial labor saving increased giblet yield and vastly improved the hygiene giblets can be chilled by cold air or by immersion into a counter flow water chillers they can be pumped either before or after chilling to a separate area in the processing plant of for further handling and packaging alternatively they can be packed into crates in the evisceration department and then air chilled a new technique involves giblet being deposited automatically onto a belt conveyor system which take them through the same air chiller as that used for the carcass once chilled these giblets are packed for sale retail and bulk usage in edible offal such as in intestine lungs and waste from the gizzards harvesting process is usually sucked away in a fully enclosed vacuum transport system which deposit the uh, these material into the storage container for subsequent removal 
from that site. Once evisceration is complete, the bird must be chilled to slow the growth of harmful bacteria. How carcass will be sold, whether in whole portion deboned meat form will be determined will determine the chilling process to be used. Chilling process vary according to the end use of that car particular carcass. If carcasses are to be sold dry and fresh, they will have been soft scalded and will be chilled using air alone. If they are to be sold wet, fresh or frozen, they have been medium or hard scalded and must be wet chilled. Medium or hard, uh, hard scalding removes most or all of the outer epidermis. If such carcasses were air chilled, they would emerge from the process unacceptably discolored. Air chilling involves circulating cold air around and inside the carcass, taking care, however, not to freeze the wingtips and neck flaps. Most high capacity plants producing dry fresh product will have an air chilling tunnel through which the birds are transported by the shankles on an overhead conveyor system which can be up to four tires high. Cold air is blown either down onto or across the carcass. Such tunnels are known as downflow or crossflow tunnels. Sun tunnels also have a system of ducts which direct cold air into the cavity of the carcass and over the thickest part of the breast. This process shortens the chilling time. In all cases the bird are chilled to a maximum of 4 degrees centigrade, a process that takes about half, uh, one and a half to two hours for a weight of about 1.5 to 2 kg. The bird can be transferred automatically to and from the air chilling line. The air chilling techniques are also used in maturation chilling tunnels. One disadvantage of air chilling is that the carcass can dry out resulting in the yield loss. Moistening techniques are now available which largely prevent the carcass drying out and which have no eff uh, negative effect on the shelf life. The wet chilling process. In wet chilling pro process two most common methods used are water emulsion chilling which is usually carry out, carried out in a counter flow screw chiller and second is spray chilling. Water emulsion chilling process has disappeared from most of the European Union countries but it is still being practiced in many other markets around the world. The process involves dropping the carcass into one or two path system through which they are transported by an Archimedes screw into ever colder and cleaner water. Agitation of the chill water allows the carcass to pick up water to the maximum allowed by the nas uh, national legislations. In the European Union, the process must meet requirements relating to the water usage and temperature and carcass residence time. Immersion chilling is more labor intensive than the system using an overhead conveyor as automatic line to line transfer cannot be installed. Spray chilling is common in European Union. In essence, this technique involves adding a system of water sprays to an air chilling tunnel. Carcass are chilled individually on the shackles. Evaporation of water films on the carcass surface 
may assist the cooling process while wetting the carcass avoid excessive moisture losses water pickup is however less than with an emergent drill combination drilling system in some markets wet and dry processes are combined to give a composite system for example this is shortened emergent or drag through wet chilling system followed by shortened air chilling tunnel medium or hard scarred carcasses remain wet but do not have same amount of free water as bird chilled completely by emergent whole bird selection by weight and quality first of all we will discuss the quality grading in quality grading carcass can be graded for quality especially train fastener various devices are available for registering the quality grade allotted to each carcass grading can be carried out before or after carcass are hung to the pre selection line these pass this information to a computerized control unit which will also receive and process data on the weight of each carcass some plants now use computer controlled vn systems which assess quality automatically weight grading carcasses are weighed electronically either in rehung unit which transfer them from the chilling line to the pre selection line or in a weight station installed in the pre selection line itself This information is then passed to a computerized control unit. How this information is processed? Information on weight and quality is processed in a computerized control unit and each carcass allocated by weight and quality grade to a number of automatically activated unloading stations or to one or more auto automatic operation systems. modern control system allow individual customer orders to be met in the most cost effective way and will integrate easily into higher computer systems whole carcass packing how whole carcass will be packed will depend largely on whether they are to be sold fresh or frozen wet chill carcass